Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video. It's another all new news round that we've got in store for you today. We've got some of the biggest headlines from the world of football that have happened and occurred within the past 24 hours or so. But before we go on with the video, I would like to remind you to please like the video and also subscribe for a new both ones as always and for a big greatly appreciated. But for now, let's get into talking about some of the biggest news headlines from the world of football, beginning with what was a pretty historic night for one Cristiano Ronaldo. Yeah, we're diving headfirst into this news. It's the news about one Cristiano Ronaldo in what was a truly historic night for CR7. Uh, it's international break, obviously. So with international break, it means that the majority of players are away with their national teams. Ronaldo was with Portugal last night and in the same week that he obviously signed back and returned to Manchester United, he not only went on to help Portugal win in their World Cup qualifier last night against the Republic of Ireland, but he also bagged a brace in that game. He uh, single-handedly got Portugal back into the game and then won the game for Portugal. But the two goals that he scored meant that now he is officially the men's all-time top international goal scorer with 111 goals and counting. Ronaldo headed home an 89th minute equaliser for the Portuguese for the Portuguese last night and then headed home the winner deep into injury time to help Portugal claim all three points and for them to remain top of their qualifying group for the World Cup next year, but have played a game more than the rest of the teams in their group, it has to be said. But of course, that won't matter. Last night was all about Portugal. Last night was all about Ronaldo breaking that record, a phenomenal record at that. A truly historic history-making moment, or should I say another history-making mo moment in the, uh, in, in the career of one Cristiano Ronaldo. Absolutely, truly incredible, truly phenomenal. A phenomenal record to break and he doesn't sh look like he's going to be showing any signs of slowing down anytime soon. So this record can continue to go on and on and on for as long as Ronaldo feels he is up to it. Rival or not, you have to respect what an incredible ch achievement that Ronaldo has achieved last night and achieved across the entirety of his international career. Fair play. As I say, there were a number of World Cup qualifiers last night that took place. I'll just go uh, through a few of the uh, major ones or the standout results, shall I say. 10 men France drew 1-1 with Bosnia. Antoine Griezmann rescuing the French on the night. Denmark beat Scotland 2-0. A poor result for Scotland. Erling Haaland was on the score sheet as Denmark drew 1-1 with the Netherlands. Virgil van Dijk was back for the Netherlands, back for the first time uh, in almost a year, following, of course, that lengthy, nasty injury he picked up last season. And tonight, of course, there are more games in store, more World Cup qualifiers coming right at you with the likes of Germany, Italy, Spain, Belgium and, of course, England all in action as the road to Qatar 2022 continues. Elsewhere in the news yesterday, Manchester City goalkeeper Edison has signed a new long-term contract with the club. The Brazilian goalkeeper uh, joined the club obviously back in 2017, arriving from Benfica and has gone on to make 195 appearances for Pep Guardiola's side uh, in all competitions and has helped to keep 97 clean sheets in the process. The 28-year-old has signed a new deal with the club that may see him stay until 2026. And him signing a new deal means that he has followed in the footsteps of the likes of John Stones and Ruben Diaz, who have all committed their long-term futures to City in recent weeks. Also in the news, could Liverpool's Divock Origi be leaving the club very, very soon? News coming out today regarding the Liverpool striker Origi claim that the Belgium international might be set to join Turkish side Fenerbahce after it was revealed that uh, he is a possible target of the Turkish side. 
The Turkish transfer window doesn't close until the 8th of September, meaning there is still time to get this deal done. And talks are said to be progressing very quickly and very positively, uh, that is, according to the Liverpool Echo. Origi has seemingly been up for sale at Liverpool all summer, but no suitable buyer has come in for him, certainly not at the time of the English transfer window, that is, uh, being open. And it seemed that Origi would be staying on at Liverpool for at least this season, uh, but with the developing situation that is seemingly happening between Liverpool, Fenerbahce and Origi, um, he may be heading to Turkey instead. And I think overall, this will be a good move for him. It will get more first-team football, obviously. And I think overall, it is time to move on. It's unknown whether this is going to be a permanent transfer, a transfer or a loan transfer. But either way, I think the change of scenery will do him good. And I think Liverpool will need to obviously go their separate ways as well. So I think this will be a good transfer all round for all parties. Next up, Granit Xhaka has tested positive for COVID-19. News broke yesterday that Arsenal and Switzerland midfielder Granit Xhaka has tested positive for COVID and will therefore miss all of Switzerland's upcoming games over the course of this international break. Strange that it seems mostly Arsenal players that have been affected at the beginning of this season by the virus Aubameyang, Lacazette and Ben White are just a few names to have suffered uh, with it since the beginning of the new campaign, off the top of my head at least. It's a bit strange. Um, either that or Jack had just fancied a couple more weeks away from football, given how when he comes back to Arsenal, he's of course going to miss out the next three games through suspension. Anyway... That's just what's happened with Granit Xhaka yesterday. And finally, our last story revolves around Jerome Boateng. Remember him? Well, he's found a new club. The transfer window may be closed, but free transfers are still able to take place. And with him being a free, a free agent, it meant that he was able to sign for the French club that is known as Lyon on a two-year deal. The 32-year-old centre-back has been without a club since his Bayern Munich contract expired at the end of last season. But of course, as I always say, these are just the thoughts, comments, opinions, predictions, whatever you want to call it, of this guy. I want to know what you guys think. What do you make of any of the news stories that I've talked about in this video? What do you make of another history-making moment for Cristiano Ronaldo last night? What do you make of last night's World Cup qualifying games? What do you make of Edison signing a new contract with Manchester City? What do you make of Divock Origi possibly leaving Liverpool in the very, very near future? And what do you make of the news that Leon have signed free agent Jerome Boateng on a two-year deal? I'd love to know your thoughts, comments, opinions, predictions, whatever you want to call it, on any of these stories down below in the comments section because I'm sure they'll all make for interesting reading. Otherwise, hit the like button on the way if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you're new or want to see more content like this. Both things will always and fair and be greatly appreciated. And as always, thank you all so much for watching and listening. I've been Fletch. This has been another Fletch Talks video. And I will see you in a video all again soon in another video.